Hey guys, how's it going? It is Paper Sneeze 9226 here, and today we got some new weapons to review. I actually went ahead and bought all of these weapons, and I also tried to find the pronunciations for these weapons on Google. So this thing um, is called the Slapenair, I think. This is like the Hugin or something, I don't know. And this one's like Jerry and Frecky, okay? One of the, I think this one I said wrong, the H Hugin or whatever it is. Huggin, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna call them. But for this video, we're only going to be reviewing the Slapenair. All right, I found something really cool with this. It actually has a hidden attribute. All right, and you guys are gonna see it in action today when we play, play a few games. So go some, okay, okay. Not bad. Um, so here, it actually has a decent fire rate. It says 78, but I'm pretty sure it's more than that. Um, and yeah, it actually does a decent amount of damage. It's not the highest DPS for an automatic primary. So it's not the best out there, but it's still pretty good, okay? I enjoy using it. It's fun to use. And um, it does have slowdown and I think piercing targets, so. Both of those can be helpful. And if you guys haven't noticed yet, the secret attribute here, the hidden one at least, well, let me show you. Let me shoot, let me just go ahead and shoot someone. Um, uh, how about you? Yeah, we hit him, right? Now he has target mark. This thing actually has a hidden attribute of target mark, which is kind of cool. I didn't realize it for a long time. I thought someone had Battle Falcon or something. But no, it's actually this weapon, the Slave Nair. I tried it um, in duels before. And it still does the target mark, alright? So that's pretty cool. And I know it's not the set effect because I have tried this um, without my full set effects on. So I just changed out my melee once and tested it again. It still works. So this is an act actually a hidden attribute, alright? Which is kind of cool. I didn't, I wasn't expecting it. I just saw a bunch of people getting target marks. I'm like, who's doing this? Because there's, no, there's no one there. But well, this is cool. I, I like it. The hidden attribute is very helpful. You can see where people are. And also, if you have a wall break weapon, extremely helpful. Like, if you had, let's say, the digital sunrise, and after you've been spraying someone with your slate nair, and they're trying to run away from you, go around a wall, you could get a wall break kill if you're lucky. So, yeah, the, the target mark is actually pretty helpful, especially if you're in team fight, because, of course, your team can see them. Um... I actually don't really like the crosshair that much. It's not my favorite one. I do like the zoom, though. The zoom looks cool. It th I think it's the one from the Neutron Pulsator, or whatever it's called again. But that one, I like that one. This is a good scope. I like it. Um, I think it's... I don't know. Is this also a hidden effect? Yeah, the scope is also a hidden attribute. It doesn't say what it is. I think it's probably four times zoom. But that's just me guessing. I don't know that for a fact, so don't take my word on that. It does have some sort of zoom, though. It does have... Actually, it does have kind of a high DPS. I don't know what the damage is exactly. Go watch some of Jot's videos. Um, he does great damage tests, so does Hussain. If you don't know who those are, go search them up on, on YouTube. And they should show up, because they're... Some pretty popular pixel gun YouTubers. So I'm not gonna do a damage test today. I'm um, just gonna watch go watch Strat's videos because he's cool. Oh, bro, this DPS is actually really good. Not gonna lie. Oh, he's one shot. Where is he? He's here. He's here. He's here. That's him, right? Oh wait, no, that doesn't. Oh, he probably healed because he had the epi, right? Yeah. Oh, this is actually good. If you just get straight headshots, this is really good. I have played quite a few games with these weapons already, so I, I've kind of gotten a feel for them already. So, that, you might be seeing me doing pretty well with some of these weapons, and when you get them, if you decide to, it, it might not be the best right off the bat, because, as I say, with all these weapon reviews, you need to get used to the weapon, use it a little more, and yeah, you should probably get better at using them. Like I usually do. Sometimes if the weapon's just trash, after me using it for a while, then I'm just like, it's trash. Alright, not all not all weapons are going to be like that, but some of them definitely are. Alright. Oh, 
We will be reviewing those weapons right there, the Trader's Man ones. He just used Call of All Hollow. We will be reviewing those weapons in one of my future videos. And since I don't have the van, I don't know how long it's still available for you guys. So if you could please comment that down in the comment section. Because I got them on the first day, so... Yeah, um, please comment that down below so I know how much time you guys have left to get it. So I know if I need to make a video or not for you guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. Are we gonna beat the Viking user? No. I, I really wanna know how much damage this does, because it's actually got really good damage. I really haven't seen people do damage tests yet on these weapons, so I might I might, might as well do it because I've seen a lot of Hugin um damage tests, but I haven't seen the Sleipner or the Gary and Frecky one. I really haven't seen those been tested yet, so I might I might do a test for that. Ooh, this thing actually has good ammo. See that I had like a hundred something down there. That's actually really good. Yeah, I really like that target mark on this. It's it's cool. I I didn't know it was there for quite a while. And it's it's really helpful, it really is. It might not seem too helpful, but sometimes it is. Not all the time, but sometimes. How's this guy not dead yet? What? How did that happen? Did you see did you guys see that? I was hard spraying him and it did like no damage. Was there like the little X showing I was hitting him? I don't know if that was there, man. Oh my gosh. I'm getting one punch gauntlet with coupons later on in the year. At the end of this battle pass, I will be. Because right now, I have two completed sets I haven't gotten coupons for. And I'm only 400 coupons away from getting it, so not bad. Alright, Atlantis. This is actually a decent map. Um, Probably still not one of my favorites, but I can play on it. Okay, where are other people here? Oh, yeah, there are. Okay. Good to know. Where are they, though? That's the real question. Bro, the shurikens are correct. What is this? Oh, my. What is that? Did you see that? Did someone shoot, like, a mine into a mine? Or was it the coal frightener bullet? I have no idea. Oh, wait, oh. Um, I'll show you guys my mods on these weapons uh, at some point in the video. Alright, I think um, my primary is a level 6 kinetic mod. No, I'm just gonna show you now, why not? Yeah, level 6 and whatever those two things are. Here's that. Oh, I'm not even using that. Why am I showing you that? They'll be in the video where I'm specifically reviewing that weapon. That'd be cool if this also had x-ray. But that, that would be too OP. That would be way too OP. Oh, I did not mean to open my zoom menu. Alright, let's hop back over there. Alright, where are they? Oh, they're there. I got you. Oh, come on. There we go. This is actually doing very well in matches. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, you missed, bro. You missed that. How did you miss that? Oh, he's like one shot. Come on. We gotta get up there. Is that him? Yeah, it has to be him. Yeah, it's him. It's him. It's him. It's him. It's him. Come on. Come on. He's gotta be low. Yes, we got him. Ooh. Ooh, someone's inviting me to the squad. Too bad. I'm making a video, bro. Oh, I wish there was a way to make that go away because I can't see anything up there now. I don't know how many kills we got. We got only six kills? Come on, that's lousy. I've been doing much better with this weapon in the past. Alright, let's do one more match and call it quits for this video. And then we'll move on to the other two weapons in different videos, alright? Hold on. There we go, that's more like it. Alright. Night Palace. Too bad I can't get up there. There is someone down here, though. Easy kill. Oh, what? Hey, buddy, what are you doing in our spawn? He's just chilling. That guy was chilling down here. What? What, what was he doing? What was he trying to do? That's the question. Oh, God, Cyber Spammer. Oh, Cyber is so annoying. 
And then to be fair, it is like two to three shots these days, but still, it's annoying. Oh, I'm glad this thing actually is piercing shot because so many primaries or automatic weapons that don't have primary shot can be so annoying when your teammate walks in front of you when you're spraying someone down. It can be super annoying. So it's really good that this has that piercing shot because you can shoot through your teammates too. Whoa, what the heck was that? Did you see that? that just kind of phased over the ground. Oh, set effect for this, guys. Um, Let me show you guys that after this uh, match here when we go back to the lobby. Because it's actually a decent set effect. I think they changed it once or something because I thought it looked different before. Like maybe there's an extra word or something, but I, I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was like you're immune to the stun effect and immune to the gadget block effect. But I think it, they changed it to reduces the time of stun and gadget block. Which is still pretty good. There's also another one. Um, I think it's like anyone in a certain like radius gets the slowdown effect just by walking by you. Which is cool. But um, I don't know how big that area is or how I'm going to test it. So, that's quite unfortunate. Oh, there's a guy up there. This is actually deadly accurate. It's incredibly accurate. The dispersion is very, very low. Which is actually, that's a very good thing. If you're accurate, of course. But you always want all your weapons to be accurate, right? Oh god, some of the played side would be... Oh, dang it! Yeet! There we go. Oh gosh, I want to get Thor's hammer, man. I'm about to get it. I'm just, I'm one task away. The legendary weapon one or whatever. Get a weapon of legendary rarity or better or something like that. I haven't completed that yet. I'm getting, I opened one winter chest and I got parts. I didn't, that's the one time I didn't want parts. But I mean, I did get parts for the deceitful cheater. So I kind of wanted that weapon. So hopefully we get that. That could be another weapon review for you guys, but it's probably not going to happen anytime soon because I literally bought the freaking chest this morning. Like, I opened it this morning, so it's going to take a while before we can open an another one. Okay, these guys are actually kind of good. We have 15 kills with this. See, this is what I was talking about. That other map just wasn't good for that. Or maybe I was just trash. Yeah, the stun effect is so reduced. It's such a good thing, too, because I hate the stun effect. I really hate it. I hate the stun effect and the gadget block. And with the new stun weapon, the Thor's hammer, it's going to be very helpful. Yeah, let's see how many kills we got. I think maybe we got 16. Yeah, we got 16. That's actually not very bad for an automatic primary weapon. All right, let's go back to lobby. All right, here we go. This is the set. Resistance to the jump block and gadgets block. And slows down enemies within a radius. But what's that radius? It's also the same thing with this. Regenerate the health of allies in the area around and increases the jump height. Well, how do we know how big the area is? It, and it also doesn't show you, like, you know, I think with the heroic epi sometimes, um, or with the healing staff, when it hits their teammate, uh, when you hit your heal your teammate, it shows, like, green pluses on them to show that you're healing them or whatever. Um, it doesn't show you that when you have this Battle Valkyrie set on. And also, it'd be nice if we could actually see the areas of both of these. So, you know, if someone's actually walking into it and we're actually affecting them. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why they had decided not to show you something. Like, maybe you could toggle on a ring or toggle it off. That would be helpful to know how big the radius is so you can actually test it and know how... It works and stuff, but right now, I don't know how it works. All I know is for the Odin set, the resistance to jump block and gadget block does actually work. Because I have seen it, and it at least feels reduced, alright? So, that's a good that's a good thing. So, that's all I have for this video on the Slapenair. So, thank you for watching, and peace out.